Hello guys, Osinji here. Um, today I'm going to show you another tutorial about the Rock Show game capture. And I'm just going to show you one um, software. And, I, and I'm going to show you how I record and what, how, um, what my settings are and <coughs> then render, render it out in the, the Sony Vegas. But I'm only going to show you the Rock Show game capture because I just found out something very special, some new that really surprised me, and it's very positive in relate to all the all you Ruxio game capture owners who got a lot of problem with your quality audio device, um, everything, and. Free, can I tell you? But I'm going to show you. So I'm, I'm not going to tell you just right now. So just follow what I do and listen. <coughs> so you got your Roxio Game Capture program, and you need to have, you need to own this program, and you can only get it with a disc. Um, I think that's the way I got it. So you need to have this program. So open up the capture capture mode close this one and and still um, I'm recording the full screen here so the thing you need to do before you can capture this picture so you capture your gameplay. Um, as you can see here, the settings. Right now, I have chosen to record the, uh, my sound while I'm recording the the movies. But um, if you don't have um, if the what's it called, if the if your headset or any other microphone isn't plugged in, the the Roxio line should uh, pop up here. And then you just um, select that by do, do this. And if you also want to record your voice, you just need to select the device you, um, or the microphone you got, so, um, and that way you can record your own voice. So, but the the important thing about about on how to capture the video. With the the frag program is, um, actually you don't need to make the program full frame. Um, it's it's up to you. But um, I would recommend uh, to have it in the the normal size. So actually, you f first you um, you need to close all the programs and then open up the Rush of Game Capture. Go into Capture Mode. Um, and in the normal size, and then open the fraps, and fraps will then automatically um, um, select the the screen and um, the roster screen and capture the the gameplay. Okay, guys. So right now, I'm in the capture mode. Um, um, after I've just um close the fraps program and open it again and then it um, select the Ruxio window and adjust press press the F8 as the um, as, uh, as the key start key as I select it by myself and then begin to capture <coughs> as you can see now I'm in the capture mode so and the quality is actually pretty pretty good um, also because um, the 60 frames per second it makes it a lot better so um, and the opportunity for you um, to commentate while you're playing is very easy I'll make um, I'll, I, th I think I'll make some tutorials about that while I'm also talking by myself um, so um this is just a little what can you call it a quality test on the 
on the on the traps and um, capture. So I don't think we need to see what mod this. So um, um, let's go into the Sony Vega. Open the Sony Vegas program that you have. Mm. And then it's just um, drag in your clips that you've got. So for me, it must be. Oh, um, let's take this one. As you can see, yeah, yeah, full. As you can see up there in the little, in the preview screen, the quality looks very nice. And one important thing is go into File and Properties, and you need to select this one. Uh, the HD 720 um, with a with a 59.940 frames per second, 59 frames per second. So we'll leave it there. And this is important. The pixel format should be 32-bit floating point full range, not the 8-bit. Should be there. And the compositing gamma uh, one linear. This would be none. And this should be a none, and leave them alone just here at the best. Adjust source meter to better match project oriented settings. Um, select that one. And you can just, if you want to, install a new product with these settings. Apply, and OK. And we can click everywhere on the video. Um, activate the or select the reduce interlace flicker and maintain spect radio and loop should be unselected. And you select the disable resample. No, no changes here. That's as you maybe saw on the preview here. It was the video was a little bit lacky, but that depends on your computer specs and on and on how fast your computer is. So maybe you just need to make the video capture settings on 60 frames per second, and because it sounds it sounds weird, but because I selected that before, uh. I selected the 60 frames per second before and there was no lag. It was just very smooth. So I would recommend that. Though you dragged in your clip and the quality looks very good I think. Actually very, very good. Yeah, very good. So, going to the file, render as. And I already made a, um, a template ready. And it's, uh, I call it HD video. But you can just copy this. Um, select this one, the 6 megabytes per second. And press custom template. And then you just need to. This one should. Um, yes. Select. You can leave it there actually. It's more here. That's a bit different. If you want the 60 frames per second, you should select the double NTSC. And the sh um, here you just select 8. I don't know, but it's make. But there is a different when you do it. Um, and the video smoothness, also called sharpness, should be 95. 
And that's yes, no there, yeah. The way to run the quality is best I like that. I think I'm just going to delete this one. Have your name. And render. And then you just need to render for the rendering is complete and then you got your very nice quality um 60 frames per second Raxio video. Um I I hope you like the video because um it really it really took some time to find out and it was a, it was a, it was quite uh weird that it happened and it was a, um, pretty nice surprise. So please like the video and comment on what you think and subscribe to me because it really helps me out. Mm, thanks for watching.